Welcome to my channel The Office Guys Tutorial and in today's tutorial we are going to discuss about drawing bell curves. Bell curve is a graph of a normal distribution with a large round peaks tapering each other blah 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 blah. For most of the ordinary people this definition looks like some science junk but if you are a scientist, researcher or a guy dealing with a lot of statistics it's your bread and butter. Meanwhile if you search on YouTube how to draw a perfect bell curve people out there are telling several ways which are either difficult or less accurate to a normal distribution curve. So the concern of today's tutorial is to draw a perfect and smooth bell curve with easiest possible way in just powerpoint. And wait wait, as a bonus I am going to show you how you can make a cool slide out of these bell curves. So without any further delay let's start the tutorial. I will take a new document here, right click here, come to layout option and change it to blank come to view option make sure that you turn on grid lines right click here on the grid lines and make sure that you turn on snap objects to grid and you can increase the density to around 8 grids so what you have to do come to home option click on this down arrow for more and Take this third option in the basic shape triangle and uh, let us draw a rectangle here so I'll take it from here and just draw it somewhere here okay so I'll zoom in here guys don't worry I'm not drawing a triangle I'll just change it to normal distribution curve so what you have to do right click here come to the edit option and here you can see the three points here so select this first here right click there and change it to smooth point now click on this black dot here and drag this to somewhere around this position okay just be, be make sure that you move it to identical so that we'll give so we'll get exactly vertically symmetricity so i will drag it to somewhere around here and similar way click on this black icon here and drag it to till this line okay so that you'll get exact symmetricity and in case you just if you want to make it wide you can make it wider but let us for now I'll press ctrl Z and guys here you are here with a very simple trick to make a bell curve using PowerPoint nothing much to do just make a triangle and edit few points and that's all for the today's tutorial as I mentioned to you that I'll going to show you how you can use this bell icon curve so this was my intention to show you i have made using just powerpoint so you can see how how cool it looks so the procedure is let me just take this color scheme here i'll press ctrl c and for your information that's so i'll use this one okay so i'll just press ctrl v now what you have to do uh take one rectangle from here and i'll just quickly stretch it here and make sure you come to format option and align it to center as well as align to middle and just drag it down here take this bell curve I'll just press ctrl C and ctrl V and place it over here and just let me take it four okay ctrl C V V V okay three times I'm doing and I'll just place it over here So here you have four cups, you can just simply change its weight, dimension, whatever you want to change. Oh, let me just quickly adjust these things. Now it looks nice. And let's say your sales increases. Okay, let's just quickly color these things. So, so I will come to shift color, eyedropper, I'll choose this first. And uh, I'll choose my next green. Green. And then this again next is green and this purple okay now if you can see here these they are intersecting each other okay you are just like they are it looks like they are overlapping each other so how you have to do is select all the four make sure that there is no outline here and right click here format object under the fill option just make it 20% transparent okay and with that we are ready to go slide here and just place some data here okay this is a simple text box i'll just press ctrl c to copy it 
and I'll place it over here and all you need just here you have to adjust this data sorry okay as required uh, so guys that's all for today I hope you found the video useful give it a thumbs up and let me know your thoughts in comment box and don't forget to share this video with your fellow mates and subscribe to the channel for more videos thank you